How's it going guys, it's your new here and today I'm bringing you episode number 11 of my Let's Play HUD series and as you can see by the title, it's playoff time baby, that's right, here we go, that's our lineup. Hopefully right now we go into a warm up match, I mean, I had to, haven't played in a while so I had to get ready for it and to start off he would make it a one nothing. Then somehow Dan Boyle would put it away to make it 1-1. One, one. Second period, he gets breakaway, and he would find the back of the net. 2-1. to one. Another breakaway. 3-1. to one. We get a nice goal back by Boyle, his second of the game. He would make it 4-2 on rebounds. So this guy had a really, really good team. I'm talking about Ovechkin, Crosby, Stamkos, that kind of, those kind of players. Giroux. He would make it 5-2, and a nice consolation goal for Roy. To make it 5-3, we end up losing that one. 5-3, 866 EA pucks. And so this is our first playoff try, first ever playoff game in Hut. And we'll see how it goes. So nice hip check, but he ends up picking up the loose puck. And he would put it away to make it one nothing. And before the first finishes 2.6 seconds left, he would make it 2 to nothing. Perry would find the puck, make it 3 to nothing. And a consolation goal here by Steen, but oh well. We lose that one. 786 EA bucks, and as you can see, Solani would get hurt. And I uh, would have to buy some injury cards. And this game isn't actually a uh, online ranked match or playoff match. Uh, my club mate is named Hockey Houdini, but he has, he has his ch YouTube channel is called Better Productions HD. Check him out if you can. I don't know if he has any videos up right now, but we we played a wager match kind of thing, and. He was gonna. If I win, he was gonna give me Crawford, and if I lost, I was gonna give him Vishnovsky, Weiss, and 500 EA bucks. So as you can see, I do end up winning. So Crawford will take over Harding for the starting job, and you can see I end up giving him Sabaka to for the trade. And we go up into our second playoff match, still in amateur, still trying to get a win, crying aloud. But whatever. We start off here. Krejci would make it one nothing, and that's a good way to start the game. Lucic off the faceoff would get make it make it a tie one one. Somehow this beats Crawford and that would make it two to one. Then a nice play by Roy to tie it up two two and this one ended up going to OT and as you can see, uh, Bork scores his second of the game. That was the OT winner. 838 EA pucks from that game. And I decide, you know what? Let's go for the last try. We end up going against Fear the Canuck. I remember playing this guy one time before. And I think I won that game, so I was going in pretty confident. And look at that. Pietrangelo with the goal to make it 1 0, but that's alright. Come back the other way, and that's an easy off to make it 1 1. Then look at that move by Salmon, and he would find Lupul. Lupul puts it away with 2 to 1, make it 2 to 1. Then all of a sudden, Salmon would score, score his first of the playoffs, and that would make it 3 to 1. Then Steen with a nice way. Put it in the back of the net on the breakaway, 4 to 1, and last one on least, Somehow Kessler puts it in the back of his own net. So you can see some credit with the goal. And as you can see, he had enough of this. And what do we have here? Yup, another rage quit. Well, first of this, first of the episode, but I have quite a had quite a bit in the series. And we go up into our last game of the episode, as you can tell by the time left, and we're gonna lose this one. But we're against OSU Locks, we're uh, Ohio State lacrosse player. We end up scoring first, Krejci to make it 1-0, he comes back, Sederberg picks it up off the face off, and snipes it past Crawford, he would make it 1-1, Datsy with the speed, no chance of catching him with my uh, slower defenders, but Dan Boyle would tie it up to make it 2-2, then the third, once again speed kills, 3-2, and finally, I don't know what I was doing here, but Pavelski would put it away to make it 4-2, and that's how our playoff run for the month would end, 1,060 EA pucks. And that's all she wrote. So 56, 10, and 3 is our record going after playoffs. Uh, 2,445 EA pucks from that game. So definitely not the kind of playoffs I wanted. I was hoping to go a little bit further, but that gives me a whole month to produce a new, uh, generate a better team to prepare for next month's playoffs. So, anyways, let's take a look at our team leaders here. And surprise, surprise, take a look at that. Steen takes over the goals lead. He's got 28 goals. But Solani keeps the lead in assistant points 
with 51 points and 25 assists. So anyways, that's going to be the end of episode 11. I apologize, I couldn't make it further in playoffs, but hopefully I'll be able to generate a nice team uh, for next month's playoffs. And also, including today, so Tuesday to Sunday, daily episodes, I'm going to say that. So six episodes, yep, every, for the next six days. Hope you guys are going to like that one. Uh, once I hit 100 subs, I'm planning on a giveaway. Leave a like, leave a comment, and uh, if you can, please subscribe. And if you already subscribed, thanks a bunch. So anyways, that's going to be the end of the, ep end of the episode. And I hope you all have a great day. Peace.